So, medical team, are you up to this challenge today of studying the vestibular system, studying heart rate, making sure everybody stays healthy? Yes, ma'am. All right, crew, let's hear it for medical. You are also working as a team safe and alive on our mission to Mars. Yes. Feeling ready? All right, crew, let's hear it for the life. <laughs> I promise to communicate effectively with my teammates. I promise to communicate effectively with my teammates. All right, for this last part, raise your hand really high and repeat after me really loudly. I will contribute. I will contribute. To the success. To the success. Of our mission. Of our mission. All right, now you get to give yourselves a big round of applause. One, zero. We are standing by over Mars Base. This is the spacecraft. We have arrived on the operations deck and we are requesting clearance to begin our tasks. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mars Base. We are here to support you in your tasks. Over. All right, that means your mission control specialists are ready to support you. You may begin. Good luck, crew. The mission is now in your hands. The medical team is ready to receive. Over. The message for the medical team is as follows. Subject, check in, text. What are your current tasks? If there are none, what are you planning to do? We are asking you to put one of your medical staff in the barony chair to test and see if it works. Over. The medical team acknowledges they have started. This is the spacecraft. I have a message for the ISOT. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mars Base. The ISO team is ready to receive. Over. The message for the ISO team is Subject, ISO 2. Text, Meteoroid panel number 1 has a total of 17 impact holes. Is that right? ISO 2, 17 holes in panel 1? ISO 2, is that correct? For the ISO team acknowledges. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mars Base. I have a message for the ISO team. Say hold messages, please. Hold messages. Comedy to get everybody's attention. Everybody, touch it. What? Emergency message for okay. the Halt all messages. Halt all messages. Mars Base, this is the rover team. Please be advised that we are experiencing increased winds and observing nearby dust devil activity. Over. In static electricity. <laughs> I don't. 
don't see that it's kicking in. Over. The fire suppression system should be in there. This is the spacecraft. I have evacuated the clean room. They are out and safe. I've started the fire suppression system, but I don't see that it's kicking in. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mission Control. Um, you're going to have to uh, prepare for an emergency landing. Oh, wait, sorry. Wait, wait. I repeat, prepare for an emergency landing. Okay. Over. All right, so there is the smoke. Spacecraft, this is Mission Control. Um, you're going to have to uh, prepare Same, for an emergency Get back, get back, get back. It's smoking some more. I repeat, prepare for an emergency landing. Did you guys see the landing site? We're come on, crew, come over here behind navigation. Come, find landing. Uh, we're going in for a landing uh, without launching the second probe. Um, let me find what I need on this side. I have landing. Okay, go ahead, Tom, read what you have for landing. Nav, do you have a landing site? Emergency About message. There. Um, Mars base, this is the spacecraft. I have a message for the entire crew. Over. Alright, everybody in here ready to receive? We have a landing. Mars base, this is the spacecraft. I have a message for the entire crew. Over. Clear, are you ready to receive? Spacecraft, this is Mars base. The crew is ready to receive. Over. Okay. We're preparing to land on Mars. Over. Oh no. Okay, that's on us. You are cleared for landing. Standing by for countdown. Over. Are we good? Yes. Okay, what's the latitude and longitude on that? Spacecraft, this is Mars base. The crew is ready to receive. Over. You are preparing to land on Mars. Over. The Mars base is... I'm going to have the computers take over on this. You are clear um, for landing. Standing by for countdown. Over. All right, crew, I'm going to go ahead and initiate this landing sequence. That didn't look accurate to me, so I said I'm going to have the computers take over. Let's get ready to count down together. I'm um, going to go for a smooth landing. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and... Probe team, I'm going to want some more information in a moment, but I'm glad you got out of there. In the meantime, our priority is going in for our landing. Now, the atmosphere of Mars is much more thin than Earth's, so parachutes just don't work as well. So, to compensate for that, this is some cool engineering. On the bottom of our spacecraft, we've got retro rockets, or these retro thrusters. That's Newton's law of, which Newton's law is that? Equal and opposite reaction. So as those thrusters are firing downward, what's that doing to the actual speed of the spacecraft? Yeah, right? Since the parachutes won't slow us down entirely. We want to land as close to Mars base one as possible. The reason I didn't agree with your coordinates is I knew it couldn't be south. Right? It had to be a little, and as I see it over there, it's up above that zero latitude line. Um, so once we land, our spacecraft should dock with Mars base, and we should be able to go through a walkway to get there. Um, preparing for a touchdown now. Mars base. Come on, read your next message. Mars base, this is the spacecraft. We have landed on Mars. Nice. Repeat, we have landed on Mars. Over. All right. Now, see if you can slow down a little bit. Okay, slow down. Tell me what the We have landed on Mars. Repeat, we have landed on Mars. Over. Okay. Spacecraft, right. this is Mars Base. We have visual and we'll see you soon. Virgin. Over. There's a problem with the oxygen system. There is no new oxygen flowing into the system. <coughs> All right. All things are going to be back to the safety. Over. Did they say what? What did they say? Did anybody catch it? No new zombies are going to be flowing into the oxygen system. Over. 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 Please repeat. Uh, uh, Mars support team. Emergency. There's a problem with the oxygen systems. There is no new oxygen flowing into the spacecraft. Alert. All teams must hit the deck immediately for your safety. Over. There is no new oxygen flowing into the spacecraft. Alert. All teams must hit the deck immediately for your safety. Over. Hey. Get low. Stay calm. Stay quiet. Life support, it's not the air filter, it's the actual oxygen system. Oh, no. So just the life support officers may get up, and we're going to have to correct those green and red lights. <laughs> Mars base, this is the spacecraft. My entire crew has hit the deck, uh, but I'm getting an alert that our oxygen levels are critical. We have less than three minutes remaining. Over. Life support, Quiz. Bravo, Victor, 2. 
Top red, left green. Bravo, Victor three. Left green, right red. Can you repeat that? Please. Please. Bravo, Victor two. Top red, left green. Top red, left green. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, keep back here with you. Step back a little so they can see it. Bravo, Victor three. Left green. Right, red. Bravo, Victor, four needs to be left, green, red. What? Get it? Never mind, as I was. Bravo, Victor, four is good as it is right now. Over. Bottom right, number four is good. We now have less than one minute of oxygen remaining. Please further advise. Over. Okay, BV2, left, green, top, red, and that's it. Bravo, Victor 2, left, green, top, red. Okay. Done. Is it supposed to be top no. green? Left, red, top, green. Left, green. Left, red, top, green. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, we have less than 30 seconds of oxygen now remaining. Please check our BV valve systems. Over. You are safe. The oxygen system has been corrected and new oxygen is flowing into the spacecraft. Nice work, my support. Over. Alright, let's give our last very concerned about that dust storm coming uh, really close to Mars base while we're going to try to lift off here. Uh, we do have the probe complete. It looks like we have a little bit of question on those probe parts, but we're going to just have to go with this probe as is. My navigation team um, is ready for liftoff uh, whenever you are, so please gather your crew immediately, Commander. And uh, let's prepare for an emergency. Our base is a spacecraft. Copy that. I will gather my crew immediately. I take into consideration your recommendation to get out of this dust storm as soon as possible. Over. Crew, you should come stand behind navigation. Tom, did you an emergency landing? Uh, yeah, sorry, emergency lift out, correct. Um, yeah, go ahead, we gotta be fast on this. Okay, so this is spacecraft. I have a message for the entire crew. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mars Base. The crew is ready to receive. Over. Emergency, a dust storm is approaching. We must prepare for an emergency lift off immediately. Over. The crew acknowledges. Standing by. Over. Okay. Launch information has been entered into the computer. Stand by for counting. Yeah. Over. You have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This is Mars Base. The crew is ready to receive. Over. We are preparing to launch a probe. Please let us know when your crew is ready for probe launch countdown. Over. Our crew is ready for the probe launch countdown. Over. And okay, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so there's the vid video of the probe coming in. 
to Mars' atmosphere. Remember, Mars does have an atmosphere. It's not as thick as Earth's atmosphere, so that's why we needed that heat shield. Oh, there's you asked shield. for a parachute. Commander Ryden was able to get that on um, our rescue probe, so that's fabulous. I haven't seen the heat shield yet. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's the heat shield separating um, from our probe. Okay. Now we have to get it down safely. Let's see what we have here. You guys said a whole bunch of ideas, right? Okay, we said landing gear. It looks like she went with um, airbags for the landing gear. That'll work. It's a small probe. All right, she did get those uh, retro rockets thruster. And how it's so worth it. Yes, indeed, they have. All right. today really what you did is you took all the skills that you've been learning in life and applied them in what we call a real world simulation so um, I remember one of my first questions was to remember what happened to the Challenger shuttle uh, Krista McAuliffe and her crew that was the big picture I said so let's remember their dedication to space exploration and in their memory um, I encourage you all to perhaps think about that as a future I mean, could you imagine being on a spacecraft headed to Mars? If this goes through with NASA, it will be in the year 2030s. SpaceX with Elon Musk is also working on it at this time. Um, it doesn't